Hello everyone and welcome again to Red Gaming Tech and another gaming news special with myself Amata here on the 19th of December. Yes, it's almost Christmas everyone. Somewhere, somehow, it's that time of year again. But we're not here for that. We're here to talk about THQ and things are not going all that well for them, I am afraid. We recently did a video not too long ago saying how it looked pretty likely that they were going into administration or perhaps just folding altogether. And it looks like that prediction has come true because THQ is planning to sell all its game and assets to a private investment firm and has also filed for bankruptcy. For those of you that are wondering, they are selling themselves, the companies that they themselves own, and their game is currently in development for $60 million. It seems that they are selling to the Clear Lake Capital Group and the company will supposedly continue operating without interruption during the sale. This is a clear shame that this is happening because, to be honest with you, THQ is actually one of the few companies who consistently have released excellent games such as Metro 2033, which is a few FPS games that I actually enjoy. I'm usually not a first person shooter fan myself, it's just not really my cup of tea more often than not, but Metro 2033 was actually one of the few that I liked. So it's a real shame to see one of the few studios that I actually like folding at the seams. But I have a direct quote for you here. All of the company's students remain open and all development teams continue. The company remains confident in its existing pipeline of games. THQ maintains relationships with the, some of the top independent development studios around the globe. As part of the sale, the company is seeking approval to assume the contracts of these studios and Clear Lake will assume these contracts. The sale and filing are necessary next steps to complete THQ's transformation and position the company for the future. As we remain confident in our existing pipeline of games, the strength of our studios and THQ's deep bench of talent. We are grateful for to our outstanding team of employees, partners and suppliers who have worked with us for, our, for this transition. We are pleased to have attracted a strong financial partner for our business and we hope to complete the sale swiftly to make the process as seamless as possible. So basically, they're not going to, well, they're not intending to reduce its workforce as a result of the filing, and anyone who's currently employed by THQ will continue to work their usual schedules and receive their normal compensation and benefits. But this is pending a customary court approval. So this could change at a later date, but hopefully it won't. It's <clears throat> always a real shame to see lots of people losing their jobs because of something like this. It's not uncommon, it's actually more often than not the rule that at least some of the people will be let go when something like this happens to a company because obviously when this happens it's not because they're exactly rolling in dough so they have to let some people go just to lessen the load on their budget a little bit. But hopefully this will actually stay the same and no one will actually end up losing their jobs. It pleases me to hear that the games currently in development will still be continue to be developed so that means that all the games we are looking forward to will still be coming out hopefully fingers crossed touch wood and all that and maybe it will just continue without any difference but you always feel the difference and the change in a company when something like this happens just because the same person or people should i say aren't behind the wheel anymore but hopefully thq won't change too much because i said they're actually one of the few companies in terms of game development that i actually like them and Ubisoft are my main favourites, and Konami as well, although they have gone downhill a little bit over the years, so hopefully this won't go too badly for them, and we can hopefully see not too many people, if any people at all, losing their jobs, and the games that were supposed to be coming out will hopefully still get released. That would be the best um, result, basically. It's a real shame that they've basically had to file for bankruptcy and sell themselves for $60 million. I mean, it's not exactly small change, but they are 50 million dollars in debt at least so yes not exactly a small amount of money we're talking about here but hopefully THQ will still be around for a while in some form or another anyway guys that's me done for this fairly short news video I hope you found it entertaining and somewhat helpful please do check out our channel we've got lots more gaming goodness for you guys so yes give us a like share and subscribe if you would be so kind I would greatly appreciate it and I'll see you again next time